At ease, soldiers, and good day to everyone. Sergeant Fury here. Today we're going to be talking about blueprints, what they are, how to get them, how to use them. Okay. So, what, what blueprints are? Let's go over here to our objective board. Your blueprints are going to be located up in this area right here. Attachments, broken down attachments, and weapons. Okay. Blueprints that you already own will be dark, right? Ones that you haven't found or gotten yet will be ghosted out. But it does tell you the location. So what happens as you go around the map, you're going to gather intel from civilians, sentinel soldiers, computers, you know, documents, all sorts of places, right? And those you have a choice of getting blueprints for weapons blueprints for accessories intel on locations that you haven't discovered yet so when you choose blueprint it's going to put this blueprint here right okay then what you would do is you would go to this location right to get that blueprint right it's in the northeastern part of mount hodgson province in bald peak mine right okay once you obtain the blueprint Okay, then you can use them forever and ever and ever. Okay, now what you want to do is, you notice how you say Mark 1, this one says Mark 2, right? Over here on my um, TAC 50, it says Mark 3. The way that works is, you go over here to your loadout, and you highlight a weapon, go into your gunsmith. Okay, what you, let me get on my TAC 50, it would make more sense. I'll show you with this one. What this does is, this upgrades it to the highest level, right? Mark three, and these gives you these passive bonus, nine damage drones, right? Reload speed and mobility, okay? And the way you do that is you break down your weapons, and as you break down the weapons, you'll get weapon parts that you need, and then this is how you go ahead and do this. So I need one elite weapon part, and I can get one more percent on my on that right these are all done that's the only one so by breaking down an elite weapon one of these it'll give me that part now i got two of these right so i can come over here because i had I, I bought one at the store and then i got another one right and any of these are elite weapons right i don't need all these i don't need so i gotta do is dismantle that he gave me an elite weapon part okay and you come back in your gunsmith. Okay, see, now we can apply that bonus right there. See, now max level, level reached. So from now on, any TAC 50s that you buy or manufacture via your blueprint will always be Mark III and will always be maxed out. Right? That's how that works. Okay, so you got your blueprints, right? You're leveling up your weapon because you're constantly leveling your weapons. Okay, whatever weapons you prefer that you're going to use, that's the ones you want to level, right? There's specific ones that you're going to, you know, work on. Like, I work on, I like the Mark 14 for close-up, TAC 50 for long-range. You know, I don't want to get into too much about the ballistics and stuff, but this is what you do. You constantly come over here. See, that requires metal parts, right? So you just have to get some more metal parts. Good thing. Okay, and I'll be able to get up to Mark 3. Right, and I'll get that third bonus, and then these will be maxed out. Okay, so this is what happens after you get these blueprints. Right, what you do is you come to the store over here, right, or while you're at Bivouac, you can open up the store. Either way. And they have what's called weapons on demand. Weapons on demand is where you're going to get the weapons that you have blueprint for. Let's get you set up with what you need. if you have the season pass, gold edition, or... What's the other one? Ultimate edition. That's where you'll find the special weapons that they gave you with those editions, right? Okay. Now, the reason they gave them to you this way is because if they would have just put them in your inventory they'd have been level one and they'd be always level one 
right? Just like the Lullaby and the Relentless are in the Division 2. They're basically useless to me. So I sort of feel cheated because I bought those and then now I can't upgrade the stupid things so I haven't been able to find exotic weapons because you got to go to the Dark Zone to get exotic weapon parts, basically. So what happens is that blueprint, like that TAC-50, right? It's right over here, right? Now, if I buy this, which is really reasonable, 800 credits is nothing, it may be a superior, you know, elite weapon. It may be just a, uh, you know, purple one. We don't know. But I do need one between that score because you notice mine was 152, right? So, so you, can, you may not get the one that you want, you know, every time. Um, that's the downside of doing this. Now you can try again. It's like it's like gambling, basically, right? You may get the last time I did. I got a see. There you go. See, so this time I got a I got a uh, elite one. See how easy that is. So it, it may or may not work every time. Then what you do is you go back into your loadout, right? Okay. And see so now I have this one over here. Automatic marking, thirty percent range. I can pop that one in there. And then go ahead and customize it however I want. So that's how the. See, I need to go find this magazine. See this extended mag. See somewhere out there is a blueprint, or the magazine is out there somewhere in Aurora. So I need that so I can go from five rounds to freaking ten rounds. So that's how that. Same with the bipod. I already showed you. I, I may not have showed you the video yet on how to find the bipod. You know, but yeah, that's how that's how this works. You know, so you're all maxed out. Come on here, change my paint. And there we go. I'm rocking on my TAC 50. So that's how the whole blueprint option works. And again, the blueprints are everywhere out in the world. If you go out here and you hover over, you'll see. Oh, let's see if I can find one. There's a reward someplace. There you go. There's a blueprint. You go to that location. You kill that behemoth, and you're going to get the six. 6P41 blueprint. See, not every place will have the same thing. That one's got a face paint. You know, this one just has scale credits. You know, they, they vary, but that's a blueprint for an MP7, right? So if you like MP7s and you want to get a blueprint, there's a blueprint for the SVD. So this is how it works. There's a blueprint, there's a T95. And most of those you find at all the behem these behemoth sites, you'll find blueprints at. See, there's some digital scan equipment, whatever the hell that is. Uh, collectible muzzle brake. So this is how it works. You know what I mean? So you got to go around. Like I want to find that magazine. So somewhere there's a blueprint for your KSG-12. So somewhere here that magazine is there. It's just a matter of me figuring out where the hell it's at. And then going there and either getting a blueprint for it which normally you don't have blueprint for for those accessories. The blueprints are just for the weapons themselves. At least I don't know. I, well, I'll take that back. You can't get blueprints for everything. I'm not confuse you here. So you can't get blueprints for it. Norm, oh, norm, oh, no, I take that back. You don't get blueprints for the accessories. The accessories you just go find. The blueprints are for the weapons only. There we go. Thank God. So yeah, see, I don't have that one yet. I gotta get the, um, I gotta go find it. So when you find that, then it gets added to your inventory. Whew. And that's a little confusing. I'm still learning a lot of this shit, to be honest with you. But it's not bad. So the whole object is go find the blueprint, put it in, it goes in there, you want to upgrade your weapon at that point, whatever level you're at, you need that weapon, you don't want to go find it in the world, you just come over here and buy it. You know, and, but it's like, like I said, it's like a lottery, so you may or may not get it, you know, the first time, or whatever, I got lucky the second time. Some people have done it six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So it just depends. Okay, so other than that, that's all that is for today. Um, blueprints, and... Like I said, we're going to do a little continuing series on all this stuff. And tomorrow we're going to do, or 
the next videos. I'm going to cover what the hell am I going to cover in the next one? I don't remember what I was going to do. Oh my god, I can't remember what I was going to do in the next video. That's silly. There's so much. I'm trying to like figure out what to do and what to do in what order and what people want. And like I said, there's so much. To it. I was going to show you guys where the bipod is. I was going to do a short video on the bipod. And um, then the clothing, that's not that big of a deal. You can find that all over the place. Um, probably show you the different types of missions. There'll be faction missions, and then we'll do side missions. And main missions are real long. You know, they have a tendency to be long, but I will show you faction and side missions. And, you know, we'll just do a lot of other crap here, little by little. I'll start getting into the swing of things. So until I see you later, as always, this is Sergeant Nick Fury. Ready, soldiers. <laughs>